Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be covering the basics of how to make planes in Simple Rockets 2. So this can be split up into two sections. There are stability and flaps. We're starting off with stability and how the center of mass and the center of lift affect it. So to demonstrate this, I want to make a super quick plane. And through the pattern editing, it's going to get made instantly. See, there you go. So I want you to pay attention to where the center of mass is and where the center of lift is. The center of mass is the red one and it's behind the center of lift. Now this can be caused of, by two ways. Either there's too much weight in the back or due to the fuel draining, the weight has moved towards the back. So let me show you what happens when you try to take off with the center of mass in the back. So when you go to take off, everything's normal. So you pull off the ground and you start somersaulting, right? I mean, I've made this mistake. So if it looks like this, that's your problem. And there's a few ways to fix this. So obviously, and the easiest way is to move this mass towards the front. So either you can add more fuel to the front or by adding dead weight, you can move it forward. You can also change the shape of wings to affect it. So, for example, if you want to move it backwards, you can make the rear wings larger, which would cause them to generate more lift, and thus, the center of lift would move backwards. Which is all pretty simple, right? So let me demonstrate what this looks like. So, let me go ahead and just finish up, and then I'll launch the craft and show you what happens now. So, so now we're here, so now we we'll throttle up and take off. And in a moment or two, you should see that there are no somersaults. Just lift off normally and I can control the pitch. So yeah, that's pretty simple. Okay, so on to the next section. So I'm gonna do flaps in this next section because I don't feel like they quite receive enough recognition and I don't see them used very often when in fact they're very helpful. So as you can see, the little control surface on the planes just come down. So now you can see these on real planes and they're very helpful. What it does is basically generate extra lift on the front wings. This can be very helpful in many ways. So for starters, it can reduce the takeoff distance. It can also help with heavy payloads like if you have a really heavy plane, it will just basically make it much easier to take off and land. So it also reduces the landing speed. So as you can tell, it's very handy. So in a moment here, I'm going to show you how to make it. And it's pretty simple. There's just one trick to it. So yeah. Once we get off the ground there. So yeah, as you can see, it works pretty normally. So here we go. So what you gotta do is have a wing, obviously. And then once you have it placed, you basically mirror it to the other side, basically like your standard old wing, pretty normal, right? So I would also recommend moving it towards the inside because if you're gonna to wanna to do like rolling with your uh, control surfaces, you're gonna want those to be on the outside. So I'd also recommend putting them on there now because what we're gonna end up doing is breaking the symmetry. So to do this, you basically set a control surface to slider one, basically. So that's basically it for that, except there's one last step that you have to do, and I'll do it once I've done adding the other control surface. So what you're gonna end up doing is breaking the symmetry of these wings. So whatever you need to do them, I recommend you do this first, then break the symmetry. So yeah, so once you broken the symmetry, uh, as I'm doing right now, you're gonna wanna go over to the other wing and just basically invert it. So yeah, that's basically it. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but has a large result. Yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you again. That's all I have. Have a great day.